message you're about listening to is from Pastor E. A. Adibui, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. King of Kings, Lord of Lords, I am that I am, the Ancient of Days, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, Judah. Rock of Ages, Emmanuel, 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 Glory be to your Holy Name. Glory be to your Holy Name. Glory be to your holy name. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. Thank you for last year. Thank you for this year. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for joining mercies. Thank you for what you are going to do. And Glory be to your holy name. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. Praise them, Lord. Amen. Before tomorrow morning, let them have testimonies. Amen. Continue to use them for your glory. Amen. Let it be well with them. Father, let it be well with them. Almighty God, let it be well with them. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. We see them during this convention. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And shake hands with one or two people and say, Welcome, God bless you. Everybody can I make it a walk and a fair God bless you. Yes, you go. I want to talk to you very briefly tonight. On a friend in need. First Samuel chapter 22. Verse 1 to 2. David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Adullam. And when his brethren and all his father's house had it, they went down thither to him. David is a grown man. Osi sasi iho adulamu. Nekba tia mwa arakonre. Ati dile baba resi go. Wansi sokale. To niwe. And everyone that was in distress. And everyone that was in debt. And everyone that was discontented. Gathered themselves unto him. And he became a captain over them. And there were with him about 400 men. Wo lukuluku eni ti o ti wa ninu ikonju ati olukuluku eni ti o ti je to ti je gbese ati olukuluku eni ti o wa ninu ibanu je si ku ara won jo sodo re ohun si je olori won awon ti o si wa lodo re si to iwon irinwo omo okunrin few are the friends of the needy kin it is those who are rich who have many friends. Proverbs 14, verse 20. Proverbs 14, verse 20. Says the rich has many friends. Not the poor. Only few people will be your friends in the time of need. If you are the governor of a state, oh, your friends will be many. Amen. 
But the Bible says the poor is hated even of his own neighbor. The same Proverbs 14 verse 20. Yeah, we can we can like say Ogu. So the poor man is hated even of his own neighbor. That's one of the reasons why house fellowship is so important. When you become born again, the real friends that you have will be members of the kingdom of God. There are people who are going the same direction as you. Those who are going to heaven with you. They're the only true friends that you can have. Believe me honestly, before you became born again, those people you think are your friends are not your friends. When you become born again, you will see how many of them will run away from you. I know how many friends I had before I became born again. Those who come to my house to drink. Beer, hot drinks. As soon as I became born again, and they knew these drinks are no longer available, all of them left. But thank God, even though I lost all my friends then, look at how many friends I have now. Look at all my friends now. Now we speak the same language. We shout the same hallelujah. We dance to the same music. We rejoice over the same thing. When we are clapping, we are clapping for Jesus. Go ahead, give the Almighty God a day. Now, the important thing you need to note is this. That friendship that started in the cave can be depended upon when you get to the throne. The friends you have in the house fellowships when you have nothing, they are the friends you can rely upon when you become something. And I want to assure every one of you here today, you are not going to die poor. Amen. You are going to become great. Amen. Jesus Christ said, Yes, if you will be my friends now, when I am in need, because I mean, heaven you are now, I have many children to look after and I'm not around. I can only rely on you now to help me look after them. He said, if you will help me now in my time of need, then he said, one day you also sit on the thrones with me. Matthew chapter 19, verse 27 to 30. Matthew 19, verse 27 to 30. If you take the work of house fellowship, follow up evangelism seriously, one day you are going to sit on the throne with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because 
many of the people who are my very close associates now are very very poor people when we met I was poor, they were poorer. But we were going to congresses together. Some of us, when we collect our salaries in December, we gave it all to God. We celebrate Christmas on the congress ground somebody was asking me when was the last time you celebrated christmas at home i said 1976 because from 1977 every christmas Am I there on the Congress ground? Or nowadays, I am going a fishing. Because I am suffering with Jesus Christ now so that one day I will be able to sit on the throne with him. How many of you will sit with Jesus Christ on his throne on the last day? When we started Christ the Dimas Congress, the reason why some of my elders hated me for it, some of them, is because they said I didn't allow them to enjoy Christmas at home. Many there were some young people who said wherever you go, we will go with you. Whatever you want us to do, we will do it. Many of us sleep on the field, on the open field, in the Amatan of December. My wife and quite some young girls, their own bedroom is the kitchen. Today, those people who were sleeping in the kitchen, I want one is you want to go soon in the kitchen. They may still sleep in the kitchen drawing convention. What is it? You want not to mass on me in a boy and near Coco convention. But by the grace of God, when you are a lot of in their own houses now, there are air conditioners. You know, they don't be by you or a raw amount on to one event. And now I'm saying to those of you who are faithful in house fellowship, in follow up. In evangelism, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will not die poor. Amen. Amen. In Romans chapter 8, verses 16 and 17. Romans 8, 16 and 17. The Bible says, if we suffer with him, we shall be glorified with him. Those who suffered with David in the cave of Adullam, they became David's mighty men. David did not forget them when he got to the throne. Jesus will not forget you when he returns again. Amen. Now, whatever you do for your captain, you have done it for his God. What the people did for David, God took note. And Jesus said in Matthew 25, 
whatever you do for the least of these people you have done it for me any of these people in the house fellowship that will help any of these people that will follow up any of these people that will evangelize Jesus said you are doing it for me and God knows how to reward those who do things for him is that whatever you do for these people you have done it for me you've done it for me and God will never be your debtor he will repay so if you spent money for house fellowship you spend time for house fellowship you spend time for follow-up God will surely reward you because the little fellow you are helping today you never can tell what he will become tomorrow among the people in the various house fellowships if the Lord tarries you, among them you have the future general overseer the future assistant general overseer so when you are ministering to these people you might be preparing for your own future as a matter of fact jesus christ said your future destiny will be determined by the destiny of the fellow you associated with now in john 14 verse 12 john 14 verse 12 he said the works that i do you shall do also if you associate with me now and walk with me now and you help me look after this young convert Jesus Christ said whatever you are doing for these people since you are doing them for me I will also make sure that the miracles I am able to perform you too will be able to perform them. there are some of you here today who will soon be raising the dead in Jesus name your destiny can be determined by the destiny of the people you are witnessing to following up and treating treating in the house fellowship uh, centers i know quite a few sisters today who are married to their converts i know a sister who was following up a brother and today by the grace of god they are happily married and she, she wasn't looking for a husband she was just doing the will of god in fact in the days when we got born again people don't want to talk about marriage and we don't we don't think along that line there is so much work to be done we don't want to even bother ourselves but God Almighty seeing that these people are seriously busy for me in his own time made the necessary arrangements 
o sori yi pe awon won yi kan ku fun ise ni akoko yi fun ohun kan o si re si se ipinu ati ilana a je won fun won na want you to know one thing mo fe ka ma nkan kan david spent a lot of time in the cave david ilu opopopo igba ninu ihu aduramu but the anointing on his head finally got him to the throne suba e fa mo yan ori re gan o la ona fun ti ti dori de whether people believe it or not boya awon eyan gba gba tabi eko jesus is coming back again jesus christ ni pada bo lai ko si it may take more years o le gba odun me lo ko si but he will return suba yo pada i say he will return mo ni yo pada and when he returns e ni ba to wa ti pada there are some of us who will be extremely happy to welcome him opolopo wa si wa to je pe ni wa yo dun dojo lati ki kabo and i pray you be one of them in jesus name now david said one thing david is angagan in psalm 23 verse 5 inu we ori david ori keta le ni ogun ese karun psalm 23 verse 5 ori david ori keta le ni ogun ese karun he said thou anointed my head with oil woni wa bi oroko ori mi my cup run over ago mi si ku aku wo sile i told some of you that i was god about that verse for a several times i am about to bawa so die ni ele pe won ti fe lowo olorun ni olowo lori ase oro yi ni gbagbo ni gba de gba father baba when the cup was full ni gba ti ago yi ku ga why did it to stop ki lo de te dawo re duro why the wastage ki lo de ta fi oro na so mu and he told me o si so fun mi number 1 e kini i want this boy to know mo fe ke ba kuri ki o mo that there is plenty more where this one is coming from opolopo ro si wa dojo ni bi ti eleyi ti npo wa let me explain that one to, to in a way that you will probably understand boya ki salaye re saju si fun yin ke ko ba ye yin da dara when you look around now ti e ba wa yi ka bayi you see today is monday oni la ja monday we we expect only workers and house fellowship leaders here today e re ti wa ni wi pe awo sise ati awon adari o si ojule nikan ni ko wa ni loni and the camp is almost already full e le pa ko ti fe ku wa yi and so some people will say oh praise god we are already big am ko lopo wa si ma so pe ah a ri pe lowo olorun o ati di nla and i'm telling you we have not yet started a se so fun yin pe a di bere rara all of you are workers today mo gbe ti e jo nse loni you are going to be pastors mo gbe le o di o ja gbuta a di ya yo amen to that amen By the time you all become pastors, ni gba ti gbogbo yin ba di oluju agota. The workers will be at least a hundred times the number you are now. Ni awon o sise ati di oye yin la na gbon. It's not the words. E to tu ma si pe God is not limited to where we are now. Pe Olorun ko ko si pe de ke le ori Olorun lori bi a se wa loni. The blessings of God are still flowing. E bo ko Olorun o si fo o ti nse sibe and they will keep flowing. Yo te so lati ma sha. About 20 years ago. Ni ka bi ogun odun sayi. Well, somebody was complaining. Any kan si awa wi that there are too many cars in Lagos. Bi pe mo to ajo kele ti poju ni ilu eko. And one young man say, ah omo adamo pe ka si wa sayi pe please shut your mouth. E ga baba e da ke o. Don't say that there are too many cars in Lagos. E ma se so be ba ra to ko ti poju ni ilu eko. He say why are you saying that? O ni kilo de ara ko to so be. He say because I'm here to buy my own. Ori pe te mi ko ti ko. I'm going to get my own. E mi na ma ni se bi. Very very soon. Now, if I judge you, I'm looking at people who will be ordained in this auditorium. Amen. Move as if you don't want it. I'll bet if you are running, you know, but guy. And the Lord said one other thing. Oh, let's talk again. See, it's not only that there is plenty of anointing where this one is coming from. He gave you pay for running your phone. If you tell it, you show up. The excess is for those who support David in his time of need. Isha si le re yi o wa fa won ni ti o ti David le yi ni akoko aini re Do you know what that word means? Ya tumo e wa ma tele tumo si The anointing of God upon my life if I may lori baba wa is going to flow to every house fellowship leader Amen Yo sha si ori gbogbo awon ni to n dari eko jule is going to flow to all the workers Amen Yo sha so ori gbogbo awon o sise even as Jesus Christ said ya bi Jesus Christ so everything that God has done through me be o nko nko o gbogbo ti Olorun ti se lati pese an baba wa is going to do it through you also Amen yo sha lati pa se ra pelu o How many of you believe Me le ra lagbele igbo 
that very soon we like in your promise alone we need no promise in the auditorium for your gathering together we beg bon god that man do not be joko we be bigger than this one amen you to be dey na how many of you really believe that that's going to happen let me hear you shout hallelujah 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 how many of you believe that one day very soon you will be a provincial pastor we like that but we like that job how many of you believe that one day very soon you will be speaking to a crowd that is ten times this size? Amen. If you receive that, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Please join us on this same station at this time for another wonderful experience as Pastor E.A. Adeboye exposes the deep mysteries in the Word of God.